are thrilled to be joined by big time NBA draft prospect Mo Bamba. Thank you for stopping by. I love this. has been on the calendar for a while. I've been really looking forward to this. I've been so impressed with you and all your pre-draft stuff and I'm thrilled you're making the rounds here. I want to know what you've been working on leading up to the draft. What do they tell you to do? Uh, they don't tell me to do anything that I don't already want to do for myself. Um, recently, I've been really been working on developing my outside jump shot mm -hmm. um, and my mechanics and making sure that my jump shot was more, resembled more of a jump shot and everything was smooth rather than a catapult. Mm -hmm. um, I recently lowered uh, my pocket and my follow through looks good and everything looks pretty smooth. And, you know, I still got a ways to go with my jump shot, but um, I'm pretty happy with the progression that I've made five weeks in. Pre draft training. Tape looks pretty good looks to me. Pretty good, yeah. <laughs> yeah, damn good. I don't know. And, and of course, you know, all the Knicks fans here at the jump, and there's a few in our control room, uh, want to know <laughs> because you are a native born New Yorker, yes, grew up in Harlem. What would it mean to you if you could get drafted by the Knicks? Are you lobbying at all? That's, that's funny. I didn't know the Knicks were in contingency to be the number one pick. Oh! <laughs> I didn't know that. But, uh, I knew I liked you. I didn't, I didn't know that. I but, knew um, I liked you. It would honestly mean the world to me. I grew up watching the Knicks. You know, I never, I, I watched the Knicks when they were kind of at their worst, and I'd always would root for them just because they're, they're you know, it's always been in my heart. But um, it'd be awesome to play in the garden. I live three train stops away from it. I got a question. When I was uh, when I was coming out of high school, yeah. you know, Penny Hardaway was my guy, yeah. and um, you know, I used to watch him all the time. I was like, I can't wait mm -hmm. to play against this man and see mm -hmm. how really good he is. Mm -hmm. Who is that guy for you? This that's already in the league that you're looking forward to. Um, against? So recently, I actually spent a week with uh, JoJo Joel Embiid um, while he was getting wow. back to getting you know to playing again yeah. after he got cleared, and uh, he's a guy that I really want to play against. Um, I learned so much from him and just a couple of days of just being around him and uh, you know so he's a guy that I really inspired right. to be like and he's a guy that I really want to go at. Do we need to check your Instagram now from now on? Does that mean <laughs> <laughs> did he teach you that too? Yeah, yeah you might have to. I'm, 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 I'm actually a better troller than... Ooh. Oh. <laughs> but, uh, See and this must be true wow. since he just trash talked. Joel wow. means trash wow. talk. Wow. Well, now I got, I got a question for you young man. So out of all these players and obviously you're a big basketball fan. Mm -hmm. You know you, you talked about some of your favorite players mm -hmm. of all time and T. Mac, you happen to be sitting next to one. <laughs> one is somebody who I played with a, mm -hmm. for a number of years. Mm -hmm. You want to say his name real quick before I ask? Magic Johnson. There you go. <laughs> Buck Rowan, I see you at the gym tomorrow. Buck, yes. we'll talk about you shortly. <laughs> but I want to ask you, there, there's so many players in this league. Mm -hmm. Who do you pattern your game after that's in the NBA right now? Well, I don't have one answer for that. There's multiple people that I really kind of like to emulate things from. Okay. Um, you know, I actually recently listened to a podcast, um, Coach uh, Clifford, you know, he was recently with the, the Hornets, and he, he was just telling me, like, you know, the NBA is looking for guys who can really, you know, stretch the floor out at, 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 at the five, but also be elite rim protectors and can guard one through five position. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I can do. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, wow. your, your high school coach is out pubbing for you. You said you could be <laughs> the best defensive player in the draft, uh, you know, top top ten here. Yeah. And also, you're versatile. I mean, you can block shots, right? You can spread the floor. You can do all of that stuff. You have the quote about basketball unicorns. We have it. <laughs> the, a seven-footer who hits a step-back jumper, that's pretty unicorn-like. Or someone who blocks a shot off the top of the backboard, pushes it in transition, finds a shooter in the corner. Yeah. That's pretty unicorn-like. That is something I embrace, just doing stuff not many people can do. Do we need to get you a little headband with a unicorn thing? <laughs> yes, next time that? I come on set, please, We'll get please you a unicorn that. hat. I mean, is that how you see yourself? Absolutely. Um, with, oftentimes, there's a misconception what, you, what unicorn is. Like, people don't really know what you, a unicorn is. But, um, <laughs> like, it's just thrown around so much, but they don't know what it is. But a unicorn is really a guy who can do it all. Mm -hmm. And it's just something you've, you've never... A unicorn, in theory, is something like... It's a mythical creature. It's a yes. mythical thing that doesn't exist. And, you know, there's five guys in the league right now who, who haven't ever done anything like that and that existed before. But it's high standards. Exactly. Very, I like now, that. I will I say, like I'm going to rat on you a little bit, because mm -hmm. when he walked up after the last segment, he said two things. First of all, he <laughs> told Tracy that he was one of his favorite players growing up, which is very sweet, and then also said, y'all talking about one and done, and you don't even, whatever. Yeah. So. <laughs> so my, welcome so, to the so show, one and done. Yeah. Yeah. If That's you right. were able to go straight from high school to mm -hmm. the pros, mm -hmm. would you have made that move? Well, I don't want to take away from anything at my time at Texas. I thought it was actually pretty darn special. Um, and the, the relationships that I've built there and, and the people that I really come across. Like, I met some of, some of my best friends in life at, at the University of Texas. But at the same time, it's like I could have had a year of that NBA development and had a year head start at it. So, like, 
obviously I would love to have that opportunity if, if it was there for me. But How much do you think that would have helped you in transitioning your game? Um, it would have taken my game uh, to the next level because now what's so like night and day between, you know, being a college student athlete um, is that like, you know, you're, you're, you you got to split up times for different things. Like, all right, now I have to actually study and write this essay and crank it out because it's due tomorrow at, at 10 at 10 a.m. But um, like now I'm literally the only thing I'm studying is myself. Like yeah. I'm, I'm really like fully invested in my body and and, you know, I'm just like, I'm really liking this profession. So last thing before we move on, like, you, you say you want to be a guy that, that's mm -hmm. able to do everything. Mm -hmm. And I think what's being lost in our league is a guy of your potential, your yeah. size, yeah. that can stretch the floor, mm -hmm. but also has the ability to go and post up as well. Yeah. And I don't think uh, a lot of guys in our league take advantage of that. So Absolutely. for you, advice, mm -hmm. don't just settle for being that perimeter guy. Yeah. Do it all. Yeah. Be a unicorn. Yeah, be that, be, be that unicorn. Be a unicorn. Right, well, I don't know. We're talking about kids coming in and whether they're ready or whatever. I will say your polish and maturity here. You are ready for the NBA. Oh, yeah. We are excited. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. yeah, I still got some work to do. Well, let's still do it. Keep work working at it. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being Thank here. Thank you for having me. We will see you back here next year. So we'll have, we'll have, we'll have, we'll have a catch-up and see how it gets gone. Exactly. <laughs>